Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Dark Messiah. Last time we trudged through one of the most boring levels of the game, and now we're about to go through one of the most exciting. You guys are really in for a treat. I've got, uh, got a few things up my sleeve that some people just pulled their hair out over. So with me, as always, is... I'm the Lost Robokai. Hey, everybody. And also with us is... I am Warsmith, and you're a big butt. That's my favorite level. <laughs> the The... the... Though to be fair, it was already my favorite level, and then you made it the most exciting level, like anywhere, <laughs> because what is wrong with you? But in any case, this this is even better. Yeah, th this is this is going to be a lot of fun, and you guys are going to going to be able to figure out which one of the annoying shrews that have been following <laughs> us around all day gets to die. So let's get right to that. Oh, this is encouraging. Don't smoke in bed. At least there's a lot of fire instead of a lot of stone now. The flame helm gods. There was purple stone too. Don't let fool you. She doesn't know what you really are. All she has done is use you to do her dirty work, and now she's asking you to give up your heritage, your destiny. This line is great. Indeed. I seem to be surrounded by women who want things from me. Not for me, my love. For both of us. And believe me, what I want, you'll be happy. And Sarah just grew balls in that one moment. If he was this lippy all the time, he'd be a great character. I know, yeah, that, that, that line, and, um, what's it, uh, Pretty Little Gangplank, pretty little gangplank or Sarah's Two Redeeming Qualities. What's up, Duncan? You know a way to get through the battle to the necropolis. So for those of you who haven't played this game, uh, one of the eternal regrets of all of the people who have is that we're not is that they're generally not able to save Duncan here. He's gonna jump gr uh, headlong into a battle he has no chance of surviving, and I'm just gonna show you what that looks like. Half the time that first necromancer shoots a fireball at me, the fireball goes over my shoulder and kills him instantly. Pretty much. <laughs> and he's like the, the only decent human being in the game, so... It's it's really tragic, but, you know, even even now, you know, he bugs out and there's a lot of, there's a lot of things I can do to make sure he's safe, but... Wow! At the end of the day... Then, that happens. Well, he was. Shut up, Santa. R.I.P. Duncan. Fortunately, I figured out a way to save him. First thing you do is you kick him immediately because that bugs out his AI and stops him from moving. <laughs> and you use burglary and pop this, op uh, pop this open. Then you drop a freeze thing to make sure he slips. Okay. Uh. There you go. <laughs> and then you, uh, you kick oh, him that's... into the opened door. This is for your own good, Duncan. You'll thank us later. Don't, don't worry, Duncan. When the ringing in your ears stops. There you go. Take a powder, buddy. You're safe now. And I'm guessing you can't open doors. Yeah, yeah. He uh, he does not know how door works. That that one necromancer is like, dude, what the hell is wrong with you? I was watching that the whole time. You creeped me out. <laughs> I, you, 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 I, I was going to great lengths to save my friend. You necromancers couldn't understand that. There's no great peace for him today. You don't know what it means to kick a man repeatedly and give him a minor concussion because you really care that much about him. <laughs> you don't understand friendship. God, oh dear. And so, and so poor Duncan, all he can hear is like just is Sarath fighting all these guys now. <laughs> Sarah, um, do you need a hand? No, no, I've got this. I, I, I got it all. Are you sure? I can go get me brother Percy and and Thomas and Gordon and the other tank engines. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say <laughs> Duncan and Percy. I could make ever more obscure references and just condense my entire childhood into this LP, but I won't. Also, all the ghouls, mother of God. Yeah, this, oh, yeah. This, this entire level is basically, you know, ghouls galore. I'm fighting four at a time right now, which is why charm scrolls are so amazingly useful. I mean, if I get lucky, they kill one, and then one way or the other, they usually get killed themselves. Oh man, the noises, the noises they're making. This is like s some of those creepy breathing phone calls that I used to get. What were you doing to get those, anyway? Yeah. They were wrong numbers, that's what made it worse. <laughs> if you say so, man. <laughs> I feel really bad for anybody. 
the house I used to live in had a phone number that was one digit off the number of the local movie theaters. People would be always calling us trying to reserve movie times. <laughs> Also, I like how you can hit these things as many times as you want with a sword or a dagger, it doesn't really do anything, but, like, three-inch metal spikes, oh, instant death. Yep. Perforation. All the spikes are blessed. So, this is why they're posted to everything. Also, when I make reference to the Mother of God, I'm, of course, talking to a dragon that is the mother of another dragon. Of course. <sighs> oh, what is this? Uh, yeah, this is a secret. Um, it sucks. Most of the secrets in this, uh, in this level suck, but I was using it to delay for time while I made sure the ghouls were gone. I see. Because Duncan is not gonna want to stay in his little hidey hole, and I want to let him out so he doesn't starve. Yeah, plus the building is on fire by the looks of things. Yeah, that's also true. See, Sarah, the... Zareth is just Duncan's main man, and he's going to do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes, even if it- How's it going, Zareth? I blacked out for a little bit there. Is, the, is, is there still some ghouls to fight? Not so much, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna take care of all of them. <laughs> Off I go, I got this. Maybe there's some over here behind here, it's this thing. Nope. I got it. We got them all, Sarah. <laughs> this is how you can see exactly how little the developers expected him to survive. He is scripted to just run around this area trying to get his ass kicked by ghouls the in for the rest of eternity. There's no ghouls in this barrel either, Sarah. They might have been hiding. God, I felt so bad for him. He just he was just running around and then he got stuck on a barrel. So I was just like, oh, all right, I I'll, I'll free you. Just just this once. Good work, Sarah. I thought those barrels looked a little suspicious. I mean, twice. <laughs> <laughs> Right, well, I'll I'll just go back to running in circles then, shall I? Exactly. I'll I'll I'll, co I'll cover the rear, Sarah. I, I I'm not scripted to climb things, so I guess I I say hello to Percy for me. I plan on it, buddy. Godspeed. Oh, uh, cool guy, cannon is best cannon. What a nice guy that guy. <laughs> and now we're at yeah, here. the little second part of the city, and we're just and oh, that just happened. Oh yeah. <laughs> Spend a healing surge! That was close. Ah. I damn near rushed in my arm. I don't need to hear about the status of your equipment, buddy. Keep it to yourself. I, I was respecting that guy. I was just like, this guy has pluck. So I was like, I'm gonna try to save him too. But... He did survive crashing through a giant wall. And, um, s special delivery of bodies. It was the worst ghoul ever. Uh, though, I mean, I guess he just did redeem himself by knocking <laughs> that guy through the world. <laughs> I like how they're still bothering to use black guards. Like... No! Sweaty guy! Aww. Uh, Bale. Oh well. Bale. You probably didn't want to smell, like, him hanging around anyway. Probably not. These are not the demon spawn you were looking for. Bye-bye. Meanwhile, Duncan's just sort of in the distance staring, going, That's right, he's my friend! <laughs> He's gonna kill all of you, buggers. <laughs> God, those ghouls get so eager to beat the shit out of each other. I mean, look at that! Dead! Damn it, I was gonna put 20 bucks on the one on the left. He's just thinking, what have I done? What have I done? Of course, he can't vocalize it, so it's just... <gasps> Wordless breaths of rage. It's like, it's like, it's like that, the Star Wars, uh, Robot Chicken special. <laughs> I'm really sorry! So there's a couple more secrets over here. Oh, you- Oh, you are kidding me! No, you- you can climb oh, down there, but sake. the only thing worth getting is a full health potion- Oh, wait, ghoul. Look at that dead guy down there. <laughs> I'm not late, am I? <laughs> Where's Duncan? <laughs> you are- you are never- like, you are never going to be an enemy in a game ever again, my friend. You've completely missed your cue. That's your career down the toilet. No chance of ever getting it again. So yeah, I, the only thing worth getting down there is a full health potion, and you can grab it with telekinesis, and I wasn't really keen on risking my life again. Man, man Sarath has learned the ways of the adventurer well. City burning to the ground, entire population about to be sacrificed to God knows what. I better go loot everything. Better go climb into every building and loot everything I can find. Well, it's not like they're gonna use it. I am really biting my tongue on racist jokes right now. It's a Herculean effort. Well, that's okay, because if uh, if the photographs from New Orleans taught me anything, Sarath has found all of these <laughs> items. <laughs> that, that, that guy just randomly lit on fire as he fell down. Yep, pretty much. Hey, Sarath, look what I can do! Woo! <laughs> Sarath is the destroyer of worlds. Incidentally, sup, Percy. And that's another bow of fiery rage. That's... You're not green at all, and your funnel is way too long. Percy, can you lead me to the necropolis? 
He's standing up so straight. I mean, he's got great posture. Not like a guy that goes running through tunnels. Through the flow valves. How do we get there? How? Tell me quickly. Come on. So <laughs> it's like, come on, tell me. Come on, I'll be your friend. <laughs> I'm literally jumping up and down in excitement. Get me to the valve control house and I'll get you inside. But now, there's an undead cyclops. Well, that sounds like fun. Not going unless you can kill it. Find another route or lead it away while I cross to the other What's wrong with his eyes? Fuck if I know. I'll take care this of This is why they typically wear See guard uniforms. For here. That, <laughs> that is not how a reasonable person opens a door. Not at all. Which is odd, because he seems to be a rather reasonable person. Hmm, there's an undead cyclops outside. I probably shouldn't go near it. You yeah. should probably do that. So, you can open that with burglary, but this is the alternate path that Percy was talking about, and anybody can really get up here if you just are clever with a rope bow. Because if you get up there, come back around, there's a key on the counter. What nice rugs. Problem solved forever. Yep, pretty much. And there's another couple of things that count as secrets, and once again, they both suck. <laughs> What are you- what are you gonna get at this point? I would actually be fine with just, like, them dropping full health potions out of- out of everywhere, because full health potions are actually still useful. Right. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there's the Cyclops. Just hanging out, leaning against the walls. Punching them. Punching it. Of course, you're getting things done. There's four civilians down there that I was firing to protect because um, Sarath may, Sarath may be an omnicidal maniac, but he's not a douchebag. Damn it! That's Xana's job. He could kick those guys to safety if he could reach them, but unfortunately, there's only so far his leg can extend. And he he has he hasn't gone through the master plan to become a spider god with eight legs for kicking. He, they need them to telescope anyway. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, that all of those legs will be able to extend, and he'll be able to kick every dimension at once, all at the same time. That, that's that, how else are you gonna make Asha rage quit the universe? Yeah, the point is next to destroy anything. It's just to troll the shit out of the dragons, because they're, they're dragons. <laughs> all, all I can imagine is that while he does this, he's dressed as Inspector Gadget. Great job! Great job, Sarah. <laughs> You st no, 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 no. No, we, we've got more things to do. It smells like dead meat. Of course, it's dead. It serves <laughs> Good job, Santa. Now aim for the eye. I wanted to show off this guy a little bit because he's, he's the last time we'll see a Cyclops. And because of the terrain here, he has a few, a few nice little perks. So if I come down here, he can't really reach me. Damn. So he'll be like, what's up? What's up? Damn. Whoa. Yeah, tries to grab you, not so much. Dang. Then he gets pissed. Everything's vibrating. Make it stop. So there's, and then there's another place where he's got a unique animation. Now you were just hitting him in the eye all day, every day, and he is just taking it. In the face, like a cheap hooker. I was gonna say like a boss, but if you want. I could have used daggers here, and eventually I do, but um, I didn't want to end it too quickly because he's still got one other thing that I wanted to show off. Yeah, you probably would have actually hurt him if you'd had daggers with a damage bonus. Yeah, I, re I realized why it worked so well when I did it, because I had the freaking anti-undead daggers. Oh, yeah, that would do it. When, when I threw them at this guy, and it, I, don't, I don't care how much health he had, it was gonna kill him. Ouch! Yeah, that, that one hurt. That wasn't what I was hoping to show off. That was that was one of the things. He's <laughs> just kind of throwing shit. Take <laughs> Kicking shit at me. Whoa! Man, he's learning from Sarath. He's using all of the environmental weapons. Sarath doesn't tend to eat anything when he's about to try and kick it, though. He just... Like, this this guy's got Sarath's eating and kicking and, like, together. Oh. Dang it. Oh god. <laughs> Blam. Hold still. This is mildly inconveniencing me. 
God. Yeah, he takes he takes a lot <laughs> of hits. This guy is hard enough to kill on normal. This is insane. Oh Oops. Jesus. Oh boy. Oh. Quick, poke him in the eye. Thrown out of the ring and onto barrels like it's the fucking WWE. S Sarath's nose will never work again. Of course, that, that's pretty much all he's got to offer, so it's time to pull out the daggers. Hell yes. It's dagger time. I have a trophy. Blam! Down he goes. That's the end of that. I think I've learned a lot since we first came to story. Such power. They, they they are both very excited about those situations. I, I I was I was honestly just giddy when he picked me up and literally tossed me onto some barrels. I was just like Ma maximum environment damage. Th this is th this guy is Sarah <laughs> on, is, has Sarah's spirit. I mean he just does. Yes. He he killed a kindred soul. And he gave him an honorable death. See you later, space cowboy. Jump, I'll follow. But Percy, the tracks are down. <laughs> Whew, that was close. Okay. Careful, come, don't Percy. fall into the bay again. Oh yeah, the way this guy runs, he's totally gonna. Yep. Nope. Ah, the bridge. Well. Are you all right? I'll try to find another way through. If I can, I'll run around and meet you just up the street. If we didn't need him, I'd tell him to just keep running. Annoying man. We'll go get the breakdown train. <laughs> also, has anybody else noticed that uh, Sarath is holding those lockpicks completely wrong? Yes. <laughs> I think holding is a generous term to use yeah. by looks of things. Well, look at that guard getting up in that necromancer's face. Oh yeah, that that guard that guard is all sorts of awesome. So I was just like, I am saving that guy. Oh no! <laughs> Unfortunately, just oh well, he's still kind of alive, I guess. Oh, he he don't go down that easy. Look at that drunk! Look at look at that drunk ghoul. <laughs> Whoa! Show some skill, ghouls. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because clearly we're not convinced with your efficiency. What with everything, you know, murdering the shit out of everything. Oh, nice. <laughs> I was like, that guy is not dying. He's my buddy. Gonna do this City of Heroes controller style. <laughs> Take all their strength. <laughs> Careful there, dude. <laughs> He's getting in my way, and I'm just like. Don't don't do it, man. We've almost made it. You're two days to retirement. <laughs> He's had enough of this shit. Another notch in my sword belt. Can you actually die of boredom? <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> he did. Wow. I am. Sorry, Duncan, that guy's cooler than you now. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. He's sitting there with his sword over his shoulder. Can you actually die of boredom? <laughs> Good grief. Oh, man. Cojones. <laughs> it's like, he, he survived getting frozen. It's like, you know, if you hadn't showed up, you would have just calmly gone on to kill all of them. Oh, the return of the pies. I had to eat to make room. <laughs> <laughs> all the pies. All of the pies. Cramming those cured hams into his maw. And he's just like, I already ate most of those pies. This being Sarath, son of Isabel. Ugh, what is that stench? It smells like dragon. Actually, I think it's mushrooms. <laughs> well, we did just get breathed on by like an undead cyclops. You can't possibly want to go in here, my love. There might be loot in here. Legitimately, there is. Set aside your demonic needs. That's shadow steel armor up there. And feel the blessings of Asha. Right. The blessings of Asha, ghouls. Asha has blessed us with a ledge to kick them off. I'm okay with it. Maybe there's something to this whole dragon thing. Dragons only do that because they can fly. I'm Delan. You're right. Delan told me about you, Sarah. So Come this in. is the good man. This part is awesome. No, Sarah. I'll stop you. you oh snap! Sarah, master, I'll do anything you ask. I'll be yours forever. Weren't you already doing she's, that? She's coping well. Cannonball. So, the the voting, the voting was not even close. 
<laughs> Xana won by a landslide. Oh dear. That's mildly disappointing to me. <laughs> Go away, <demon. laughs> Oh my god, that is beautiful. They even have. They oh, yes, my love. Yes. Oh my god. You choose one. You just Sarah. broke the world. <laughs> I, just to let everyone know, uh, when, when, like, Cool Guy told me what was going to be happening, I, I said to him, if the votes do inexplicably somehow end up for Liana, still look like you're about to leave, then just turn around and jump in the water. <laughs> so, uh. <laughs> it did have. Double fake out. S Sarah, Sarah is getting his career of trolling the shit out of Asha off to a great start. A chance to prove your valor soon enough, and if you hold still and let me heal this, you might even live. To tell you might even live to tell other people how cool that one guy who got frozen is. Except he died of boredom shortly afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> like he, when they found him, he was just sort of lying there with his like with, with his hands in a shrugging position, like just like with a whatever look on his face. <laughs> Go, Gar, go wizard, I guess. Um. Oops. Yeah, that that was a misfire. You dare trifle with me? Um, you trifled with him pretty hard, I think. Also, I can't believe you just said that, dude. Well, to be fair, it looks like they've become completely disinterested in his existence. It's his tone of voice. You know, it's just like, really? I mean, you sound, you sound so horrible. He's gonna give you such a pinch. <laughs> yeah, even he doesn't believe that he's actually being uh, threatening. Look at this dude! It's like, I, I don't even need my bow, I'm just gonna beat the crap out of this ghoul. It's, it, again, I, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised, it's, it is an established fact, Stone Hilton Guards, man. They're pretty badass. There is no defeat, only victory and death. Now listen to this, by the way. Fear my wrath. <laughs> really? It, really? It, it's, it, it's Battle Mage Medieval Dr. Kleiner. I mean, that, that's, that part where I looked over and stared at him for a second, that was not scripted. I, I was just like, really? You just said that? <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, I won't tell if you won't tell, and we'll just put this behind us and nobody God. has to know. This guy, got, this guy got buried with some sweet shit. Yeah. Though, um, I will, I will admit, right now, you guys are gonna, are gonna yell at me, there is one other secret right near here. And that is, like, basically the only useful secret in this entire level. And I completely spaced out getting it. Don't worry, I, I added it as loose change onto the end of the scene. <laughs> once, once Sarah figures out how to, how to climb out. Yeah, if I can ever get out of the fucking well. The rest of the video, the rest of the video is you getting out of this thing. The other guy goes on to save everything. <laughs> Duncan gets trapped in a room again. Dear my ra I was really I mean with a voice like that. Wrath Fear my wrath and then it's just <laughs> Those heathens have torn down our spiked walls. That's okay, I can improvise. <laughs> Woo And now I I I am still trying to figure out if there is a point, like, where this will not be funny, and it just hasn't come yet, like... <laughs> it's... Thanks for the... the fire support, I guess? That ghoul just looks bored. We're gonna burn it down. There's one more special over here. Jump up there, nice. and there's a magic mushroom down there that you can, you can dab with telekinesis. Nab. What's up, Max? What's up, guy? People still fearing your wrath, buddy. <laughs> oh, totally. Yes, they were fearing it quite a large amount. I was going to fuck up their shit quite good and proper. So, so, so this is this is the other secret. Yeah, this is the other secret. You just you just keep going a little bit. Man, that's a big barrel. I was going to say, is it inside the giant wine cask? No. It's a Ring of the Phoenix. Hooray. So it's just like, okay, this is the only legitimately useful secret that's in that's in this entire level. And that guy right next to him probably should have kept it on. You would have thought I was... Yeah, apparently he didn't have time to put it on. That was exactly what I thought when I first saw that guy. I was just like, oh, fat lot of good this did him. Maybe this is broken. I shouldn't put it on. Give me the fucking mana potion. Another Master Thief's outfit, that's the last one. Only after you open and close the door five times. 
It's like, I w can I take this with me, perhaps? Duncan might need a chair. <laughs> Next time I kick him into a hole. Yeah, that's what another that? fire trap. That explodes. Uh, that's burglary points out, isn't it? Oh yeah, that burglary is pointing that one out for me. And, you know, I I'm sitting here just like, why the fuck isn't this triggering? Oh, what? I started getting really angry, so you can expect to see dark vision come on. Finally! There we go. Freeze that barrel, why not? All the scrolls. Another, including another scroll of Sanctuary, which is handy. Hey. It doesn't count as a secret, though, because it didn't say it was a secret. And the lightning shield. <laughs> so this guy's just got his lightning shield hanging over his fireplace. Oh no, Percy! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> well... Did... Such power, my love. That arrow rebounded off the zombie, hit me, and froze me. Well, I was not amused. The Dark Messiah, ladies and gentlemen. I'm guessing uh, Percy's style of dress is pretty popular around here. I, I think that the leather worker around can only make like two outfits. I was gonna say, I sort of sworn they had more civilian models than this in the, uh, in the first level. Uh, I, I honestly don't remember anymore. I'd have to go back and watch. Though, I will note that there are only, there are only males. There are only male zombies here. If they, uh, had the balls to put in female zombies, it would probably be a little bit different. Everyone knows women don't die. This is the biggest fuck you secret ever. So you open this up. You think it's another secret? Uh -oh. Surprise, motherfucker! Zombie. <laughs> that's that's great. Especially if he opens up like the fight by vomiting on you instead. Yeah, that that's what he did on one of my practice runs, and I was not happy Gripes. about it. And yeah, this guy got up after I knocked him down, hit me one more time, and then burned to death. What a dick! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> I could not be bothered. I think that was the first one, wasn't it? I think so. I'm not sure. Oh, hey, Percy. Yeah, we'll, we'll pretend you entered really dynamically. Let's see if I can get you inside. It's going to be really difficult opening doors for you. It's going to take all my skill. See the grid? I'll open it up for you once you've raised the water level enough. Then I'd better start the water. Brilliant, Holmes. That's the valve over there. You'll need to turn it and open the flow. But where? Got that going, I'll open oh, excellent. And you can get it That is the single most pathetic thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so... Wow. So when when sh when uh, when he summons someone with, like, when he's charmed, they're automatically charmed as well. That's pretty cool. Yeah, though, um, when that charm breaks... When that charm breaks, the... Yeah, the zombie also breaks. Oh, I'll give him credit for that one. But then ghouls happened. I popped Sanctuary here. There's just, there's just too much shit around, so I was just like, whatever. <laughs> that sword went right between that guy's legs. Uh -oh. This looks like it. Hurry, Aaron's here may already be inside. Shut up, the both of you! I'm trying to fight here. Oh my god! Oh, and guess what? All the those, dudes. Those black guards? Yeah, they're zombies now. That's at least consistent. <laughs> Finally, actually useful. That's why they keep them around. <laughs> Wow, he actually stayed down. And it didn't kill him. 
Well, I didn't actually know ghouls could get like slow and weak like that when they get hurt. Yeah, they they can get they can get pretty effed up. Case in point. This is a crazy ass brawler right here. It's so tiny and there's so many guys. It was why I decided, okay, it's time to pop sanctuary. Ugh. Blam. Shit. Now it's finally time for the gray robe. Blam! Sorry, buddy, but you had this coming for a while. Good night, good night, ladies, good night. <laughs> good night, Gracie. Let's. We need to open the valve. I, I was so sad that I didn't have anything to use that adrenaline on. High adrenaline valve turning. Yeah, naturally, another ghoul shows up late, and it's right as my adrenaline wears off. <laughs> this guy just late. Oh. And you go and kick him into the, the, the spikes instead of hitting him once and getting it back. I, I was done with ghouls. I am done with ghouls. You know what? Fuck all of the ghouls. I, I'm okay with that. Godspeed, Percy. I hope your train comes on time. The fat controller will be very angry. <laughs> so wait, is is Aaron here or the Demon Sovereign the fat controller? Or is it Menelag, which means the fat controller is dead? I don't even know anymore. Probably Fenric. <laughs> <laughs> the railway has certain mutual interests. <laughs> Someone, please, for the love of God, give us fan art of Fenrig in a top hat and Sue in a monocle. <laughs> this was just a really pretty vista. I mean... It... This would be downright picture... You know what? I'm gonna give it to them. The sunset makes it picturesque. Yeah, it really does. The textures are terrible, but the sunset is really nice. Oh, that's... That's yeah, great. The, the is the Paukai is also something that could get fixed. Huh. <laughs> Another Paukai, just, just hanging out. Yeah, I mean, th there's no explanation for this one. He's just kind of there. I need to lead him over here, because I can't hurt him with any of my normal weapons. Because he's a big, smelly butt. Just what I was looking for. Too bad I can't carry one with me. I was just thinking earlier how how Sarath would be at a point where he would probably want to use one of those, like just hauling it around. Maybe he can get Duncan and Percy to carry one around for him. Those guys hurt like a bitch. A, a Duncan mounted ballista. That would be pretty awesome. It would make him useful. I don't really want to do this, Sarath. I saved your life, man. We could call that in as a favor. Whereas the other guard is like, nah, I don't need no ballista. I'm already bored enough. <laughs> Yeah, it was about at this time that I uh, I got sick of this shit, so I popped Sanctuary again. Nice. Where are they keeping all those magical warheads? I don't even know. <laughs> it's cool that I learned how to lead my shots, though. Excellent. Yeah, nice. Now for the Necropolis and the world. But it is such a perfect place to start. <laughs> Waste the world. Sure. And now three more pal and a soul drinker. Oh god. Don't even. <laughs> yeah, oh. I've forgotten that I, I need to I need to turn a winch because they don't they don't want you going forward until you've killed the Palkai, and the way they enforce that is, like everything, is to make, you know, these slow turning things that you can only reasonably make after you've dealt with whatever threat is Here's around. Because he'd be pew pewing in the window at you, basically. Right. Right now, he'd, he'd be trying to hit me with the electric breath and, you know, the sprint, uh, the sprint down, uh, down at the bottom. I mean, I, you have to move really fast to get it, and... And, you know, I mean, effectively, you don't have enough sprint, you'd be walking for a bit, and you get nailed with lightning breath there, too. Go, Sarath, go. <sighs> 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 
So guys, I wonder what uh, wonder what Leanna thinks about this whole Xana thing. She's cool. I'm sure she'll be fine with it. I'm so glad you. How could you decide to keep that that thing inside you? You betrayed me. You betrayed Can all you kick of us. Up? Oh no. I can't let you go any further. I'm sorry. I've been wanting to see this since I first set eyes on that little girl. Notice how she just kind of like tries to shove me. My, my favorite part about this, about and about Z Le Leanna in general, is that if you actually, you know, get rid of the, get rid of Xana and you're on her side, when, um, oh my goodness. Yes! Ooh! Ooh! I'm fucking waiting for that too. Tea bag time. Tea bag. Tea bag. Tea bag. Tea bag. Oh, Sarah, you're a classy guy. Tea bag. Tea bag. Tea bag. Oh God, you stick a fork in her. She's done. Holy God. But yeah, if you if you don't get rid of if you do get rid of Xana and she's friendly to you when she comes up. She climbs out of the catacombs, she's like, Oh, Sarath, I'm glad you're here. I've been killing Necrolords all the way back up from the from the Necromancer Hive. And I'm like, really? Don't buy it. You've been killing Grey Robes? More than one of them? By yourself? Yeah, oh, right, sure, yep, yep, that's definitely true. And how did she get past the Palkai? I mean, I'm just saying. She talked to it, and she was annoying enough that it left. So, you know, even though even though Xana won out, um, there were some very vehement people about wanting to see Xana die. I'm one of them. And I can't say no to that. Yep. No, I, I'm happy to see this. I'll do anything you ask. I'll be yours forever. Cannonball. You can't do this. I... Goodbye, Xana. Stop it or else. Ah, goodbye. It's tearing me apart. I'll burn your soul for this. My love, I swear I'll have your soul. A much more dignified death than Leanna, I have to say. Yeah. What have you done, my son? There will be a reckoning for this. A reckoning in blood. And fire? You have indeed proven yourself worthy. For abandoning the temptations of the unholy fire, I grant unto you a gift of pure light. Use it well, Sarath, son of Isabel. Use it well. Who are you? An ancient enemy of your fathers. Now, go forth and reclaim the skull of the seventh dragon, ere the world end in ash and... So yeah, here are the rest of the holy weapons. A staff, some daggers, and a bow. They're nice. Nah. I need to get rid of a few things so we can actually carry them. There's the soul drinker and the mining pick and... Not all the soul drinkers. Yeah. So, the daggers require stealth 3, magic affinity 3, but the bow of the dragon horn is only archery, so I can actually use that one. And as you can see, it uh, doesn't, doesn't really look like much, and honestly, it doesn't really hit like much either. I mean, it... Well, against undead, to be fair. I still have to kill this guy. Listen, listen. Hiya. Ah! <laughs> it's a beautifully rendered water, by the way. Go forth, son of Isabel. And kill my priest. Well, go forth! Oh god, I just, I just had to end it like that. I was just. I, I, I stepped outside and I heard him sniffing, and I'm just like. I know what I must do. I, I knew I knew at once that the voice that telling me to do all those horrible things wasn't Xana at all. <laughs> it was it was three douchebags doing commentary. It says Sarah discovered that he doesn't need demons or anything like that to be a complete asshole, and just proceeds to go around merrily kicking his way through a Sean for the rest of eternity. And, and and then it just cuts to Fenric just staying there watching a crystal ball, and he just wipes a tear away and goes, "You are now truly my son." With mutual interest. Now, well, and, and also, did anybody notice that? <laughs> I did the hand gesture again. Did, did, did anybody notice that? It, go forth and reclaim the skull of the seventh dragon, ere the world end in ash and flame. Actually, if you if Sarah just kind of sat down in that church and did nothing, the explicit thing that wouldn't happen is the world ending in ash and flame. Stonehelm would, e would end in ash and flame, but that's only Stonehelm. Because Aaron Tears... I pr probably mostly just Ash. Uh, you never know. Maybe Aaron too just doesn't do a very good job of this sort of thing. 
Anyway, this was an awesome one, a one to play. I hope you guys had as much fun with it as I, as I did because, oh my god, I was laughing the entire time. That was that was brilliant. Oh so, yeah. Next time we'll be we'll be finishing up everything, and you'll get to see the results of the of the last vote. Until then, I've been Cool Guy. I've been the Lost Robo Guy. And I am Tewar Smith. Be good to yourselves and all those you love, folks. Peace. <laughs>